Ugrid has just announced that they are shutting down their software for an undetermined period of time. What does this mean for the eBay dropshipping community? And more importantly, what does it mean for you? We'll find out in this video. So if you're not familiar with SkewGrid, SkewGrid is a software that connects your eBay account to other websites like walmart.com so that if the price changes on Walmart, it's also going to change on your eBay listing as well. Now, this is similar to other repricing softwares that other eBay dropshippers use, such as DSM Tool. But for about a week now, SkewGrid has been having some issues with their software. They emailed everyone a week ago to let them know that the normal way that it connects with their eBay accounts wasn't working correctly. So SkewGrid created a workaround that required you as the user to go into your eBay account and sign up for what's called the developers program. I don't wanna to get too technical here, but basically you had to get these special keys from eBay and then copy them and paste them into your SkewGrid account, account and that's what then linked the two up together. Now apparently, from what I hear, that wasn't really done uh, uh, like a smart way. So basically, uh, eBay limits how much information can be pulled and used through those, those keys. And because of that, some people started to get in trouble with the developers program for using the keys incorrectly. So in response to this, just a couple of days ago, SkewGrid decided to shut down their software. They don't wanna risk any of their uh, customers getting in trouble with the developers program, so they just shut down the software. Now, it will st the software SKU grid will still pull information from the source's website, like walmart.com, and give you the price that it's supposed to be on eBay based on the formula that you created, but it won't actually update the price on eBay for you. So the first question I have is, is what happened to SkewGrid going to happen to every other software out there like DSM Tool? And as far as I understand, it's not going to happen. I spoke to the guys over at DSM Tool. I spoke to Mark from No BS Dropshipping who created DS Genie. DSM Tool has assured me that they are doing the best they can to comply with eBay's rules and policies. So they don't foresee that their software is going to be an issue. So if you have been using SkewGrid, one great suggestion I have for you is to switch from SkewGrid over to DSM Tool. I personally use and love DSM Tool. And if you wanna learn how to do that, there should be a video that's gonna pop up right here. You can click on that or click on the first link underneath this video. That's gonna take you to another video I did that shows you how to transfer all your listings from SkewGrid to DSM Tool. It's actually really easy to do. So check out that video if you're interested in doing that. Now SkewGrid has assured everyone that they are working around the clock to find a solution to this. And that it's only a matter of time before they fix it. So if you do wanna stick it out with SkewGrid, you have an option of manually updating all your items. And I don't mean manually going in each item and changing the price. I mean using something that's called eBay's file exchange. If you've never used the file exchange, it's just a way for you to create a uh, Excel document, a spreadsheet, and depending on what data you enter into that spreadsheet, which you would then upload into eBay's file exchange, eBay will make changes to your account, uh, specifically to your item prices in this case. Now, I have a buddy of mine, Dave Locke, who made a really great video showing how to do this. And if you wanna check out that video, it's the third link in the description of this video. But before you do that, I do wanna point out a couple of things to you. First of all, as Dave is gonna to explain to you, you gotta create this spreadsheet. And at the top of the spreadsheet, the first row of it, each column header has a name to it. And you have to be really, really careful with eBay's file exchange. You need to make sure that the header on each column is exactly the correct spelling and capitalization. If you change the capitalization at all, the file exchange will not recognize it correctly and it will not work. So make sure that you use the correct heading. And to make this easier for you, I actually created a template for you. So if you click the second link in the description of this video and just enter your email address into the website that pops up, I'm going to email you a copy of this template and that email is also gonna contain a link to Dave's video so then you can then follow his directions to learn how to use the file exchange. The last thing I'll say is when you create a document for the file exchange and you upload it, 
every time you upload a new document, it has to have a new name. So never reuse the same name when you upload a document to the file exchange, otherwise the file exchange will not accept it. So check out the second link, get that free template, and then check out Dave's video because I think it's gonna be really helpful for you if you wanna stick with SkewGrid. Otherwise, I suggest moving on to another software like DSM Tool. Again, I personally use and love it. I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm gonna be making more videos as we learn more about what's going on with SkewGrid exactly what went wrong there. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss that video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And if you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.